हेलो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज सिमेट्री एंड ग्रुप थ्योरी दिस सिमेट्री एंड ग्रुप थ्योरी इज वेरी यूजफुल इन केमिस्ट्री एज स्पेशली द स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन इन दिस फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सिमेट्री एलिमेंट्स एंड ऑपरेशंस इन द सिमेट्री एलिमेंट्स वी विल डिस्कस द आइडेंटिटी एंड द एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन हियर वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस द व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिमेट्री व्हाट आर द कोलेंट एंड ओरिजिनल ओरिएंटेशंस व्हाट इज सिमेट्री द टर्म symmetry has almost become synonymous to beauty because the nature has made most of its creation symmetrical an object is said to be symmetrical if it can take up more than one equivalent orientation here we have to know what are the equivalent orientations and what is the original orientations to understand between the equivalent orientation and original orientation we take the model of hydrogen molecule this is the hydrogen molecule these are the two hydrogen atoms they are equivalent if we rotate this hydrogen molecule by 180 degree uh, along the axis perpendicular to this bond axis like this so this is the indistinguishable orientation than the first but it is not original orientation it is equivalent orientation if i put a mark on it now the i put a mark on this hydrogen atom then if i i rotate it then this is distinguishable the structure but it is not the original structure it is the equivalent structure so if i again rotate it 180 degree then we get the uh, original orientation so the this is the original orientation and the one step earlier was the equivalent orientation symmetry operations symmetry operation is the process carried out on the molecule which brings it from the original orientation to another equivalent orientation symmetry operation may be a rotation carried out on an axis or a reflection carried out on a point or a plane the axis point and the plane are called symmetry elements now these are the five symmetry elements so symmetry elements and symmetry operations the one is identity that is represented by e proper axis of rotation c mirror planes sigma center of symmetry i improper axis of rotation s this is the table of symmetry operations and their symmetry elements so important symmetry operation and symmetry elements so these are the symmetry elements identity either nothing is done or to get original orientation it is the symbol is e and fold symmetry axis if this is the symmetry element then the operation will be rotation by 2 pi by n it is the cn symbol mirror plane the operation is reflection the symbol will be sigma center of inversion reflection on a inversion center that is symbol is i and fold improper rotation the rotation of 2 pi by n followed by a reflection through a plane perpendicular to the axis of rotation it is represented by sn first element symmetry element is identity e this is the simplest symmetry operation all molecules have this element if a molecule have no other element it is asymmetric 
it does nothing to the molecule and hence does not seem to be of much importance but its importance lies in considering the molecule as a group and to apply the group theory to molecules this is an operation which brings back the molecule to the original orientation there are several different types of operations which bring back the molecule to its original orientations they are not considered separately but are put together as identity rotation by 360 degree and second reflection is an identity operation now the second symmetry element is axis of symmetry this is an imaginary axis passing through the molecule over which rotation can be carried out to take the molecule from one orientation to another equivalent orientation this is represented by cn where n is the order of the axis now proper axis of rotation this is cn it is also called the proper axis of rotation it means after n rotations molecule gets original orientation or identity if n is equal to 2 rotation 100 degree rotation degree of rotation will be there if n is equal to 3 120 rotation n is equal to 4 90 degree rotation n is equal to 6 60 degree rotations n is equal to infinity infinitely small degree rotation the proper rotations can be represented by c and k where k is equal to 1 2 3 up to n when k is equal to n that is c and n it will be the identity operation n indicates a rotation of 360 by n where n is equal to 1 2 3 etc so the possible number of symmetry operations operation on a c n axis is n minus 1 c21 is equal to c42 is equal to c63 these are equivalent operations because in each case there is rotation of 180 degree similarly c31 is equal to c62 here is the rotation of 120 degree and c3 minus 1 is equal to c32 uh, is equal to c64 rotation of 240 degree are equivalent operations here c3 minus 1 means it is the rotation along anti clockwise direction so there is no need to consider separate operation of c3 minus 1 and generates an operations whose symbols are c n c n 2 c n 3 cn4 up to identity when cn n however we usually write them in another way next table shows the way we write the six operations generated by proper rotation c6 from this table we can see that the symbols of the six rotations generated by c6 are c6 C3, C2, C32, C65, and E. One molecule can have many proper axes, and one with the largest n is called the principal axis. This table shows that uh, the there are more possible of showing these rotations, but we will show these symbols and having the less. Uh, order of the axis suppose if a molecule is rotated by 2 pi 6 the operations will be c6 so this is only one so then the symbol will be c6 2 into 2 pi 6 the operation will be c6 2 it it is also equivalent to c3 but the symbol represented of these two operations is c3 similarly 3 into 2 pi 6 
the operation will be c6 c3 is equal to c2 also but the symbol will be c2 four times 2 pi 6 it is the c64 is equal to c32 the symbol will be c32 5 into 2 pi 6 the operation will be c65 and the symbol will also be c65 6 into 2 pi 6 the operation c66 identity and the symbol will be identity so in many operations these symbols are taken proper rotations and cn axis for example in bf3 nickel tetracyanide c6 s6 the c3 c4 and c6 are principal axis respectively because the highest order is the 3 4 and 6 whereas in each case there are subsidiary axis of twofold c2 symmetry so in these molecules there are c2 axis is also there but because they have the higher order so they are the principal axis that is c3 c4 and c6 in case where there are more than one axis of the same order then the axis passing through maximum number of atoms is called the principal axis for example in aline molecule the axis passing through the three carbon atom is an principal axis of two fold symmetry the other two axis perpendicular to the molecular axis are subsidiary axis of two fold symmetry this is the structure of aline molecule so in this structure the formula of aline is c3h4 so these three carbon atoms are um, of a rectangular this is the center of the rectangular this is the center of one side of the rectangular this is the center of one side of a rectangular and the four two hydrogen are placed one here one here one here and one here so this is the structure of aline molecule in this structure there are three c2 axis one is this c2 axis another is this c2 axis and third is this c2 axis so all are the c2 axis are of same order so the axis c2 axis passing through three carbon atoms c c and c this is the principal axis so in aline, aline molecule there are three c2 axis but c2 axis passing through the three carbon atoms is the principal axis this we uh, will explain by the model also by this model we can explain the structure of aline molecule this is a rectangular box and uh, although this model is not a, a good model but we can explain the structure of aline molecule by this model so this is a rectangular box and this is one carbon this is the second carbon and this is the third carbon uh, the double bond are not shown in this model so these are the three carbons atoms the one hydrogen atom is here 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 now that there are three c2 axis this is one c2 axis another is um, this c2 axis and third is this c2 axis so the axis passing through this carbon this carbon and this carbon is passing through the three carbon atoms so this is the principal axis